welcome everyone welcome to xamarin form series in this series we'll talk about xamarin essentials and we'll talk about the map api so what is xamarin essentials actually so xamarin essential is a library given by microsoft xamarin team to a developer to use native phone functionalities for example maps so how do we check that uh, we have Xamarin Essentials in our project? So if you check the NuGet packages, uh, I have already installed it. So that's why you see it here, Xamarin Essentials. But you should be able to search for it if you browse. You will see the Xamarin Essential series here. So currently they are on 1.51. Uh, that is the latest table. So let's make a new new project. So we got a brand new project uh, got created. So let's see what packages we have already so far. For that you need to dig into the individual projects. If you go to the packages, I already have Xamarin Essential and Xamarin Forms installed. To verify that you already have that you can always go to manage nuget packages and you can check it from here like what packages you already have installed um, and if you want to upgrade to them what we want to do is we want to open maps the default maps associated uh, in your device from from our app uh, let's add a button So we got this button, let's add a click handler to this button. The various way you can add the click handler. So in my Xamarin Visual Studio, I have installed it on Mac. It does not immediately bring those uh, components defined on the XAML to backend. For example, BT and Open Maps, I should have it available right away but I don't I don't so in in that case what you have to do is you make sure you build your project so now let's add an event to this uh, button to fire an to fire an event so you can do it from XAML also but sometimes the IntelliSense doesn't work as uh, it should be do it here click equals to you do the tab and it will automatically connect make a method for you and uh, bind with the the button and here I can do the implementation one thing which you gotta do in this one you need to bring Xamarin essentials into the project so that we can use its APIs what we want to use now is the maps API maps if you maps map dot open async if you see it has six different overloads you can just provide a location which will uh, provide in a bit um, you can provide a place mark also you can provide latitude and longitude directly and there are a few more options which we can which we can do but for now let's make a location here so location is an object which takes latitude and longitude as input and make a location object so let's pass it like this and that's it now let's run it let's run it in uh, iPhone iOS debug and iOS 13 and let's run it so far we have created a project we added a button and then 
now let's click on open map what's going to happen here it's called the map api and it opened the map here let's see the magic where it is happening you can put a breakpoint here the breakpoint you can come into this line and put a breakpoint and let's go back into the app now when i click on open map button the event gets fired and this is the api we came up and now your new app uh, is the map okay we opened the app now let's enhance it let's open it to a particular location uh, let's quickly add two text boxes uh, on the front end to gather location uh, to gather the latitude and uh, longitude so we do entry to collect the entry let's give a good placeholder latitude and that's it uh, let's add another entry here let me give its name x name entry the reason why i do these prefixes uh, they make your life easy later on when you want to access them from uh, the code behind so now we got uh, two boxes here so now we can create the location object based from the latitude and longitude we received from the text boxes if you see the overload of location you can provide the latitude and longitude but it has to be double delete all from here back and start now so now we have defined two text boxes to receive to uh, get the value of latitude and longitude from uh, UI and uh, now we need to build the location object and location uh, constructor takes parameters here latitude and longitude to create the location object so because it is double we have to do some um, conversion here entry longitude conversion here convert to double and the second entry is entry to longitude basically this has to be entry latitude is first and then the second one is entry longitude that it we we received that value and now we are passing that value uh, to map.openasync uh, let's build it so what we have done so far is we are receiving the latitude and longitude from user interface and opening the map and passing those values to the google maps so build is successful let's run it So we have two fields here latitude and longitude let's pass the latitude in new jersey my latitude is four zero and now when i open maps it has created the location object with lot given latitude and language longitude there are other parameters which i have not given and it's taking the default and um, it's opening right here um, to my address here so now we have passed the parameters now let's pass some options more options so that we can see the name of that uh, place also let's make another uh, object options with map launch options very interesting object and and we need to provide uh, let's instantiate this object with name I will give this name 
and let us run it so now it should uh, we need to pass those options as the second parameter to the open async so now let's run it now it should be opening the map with uh, the default location so now it is opening the map with the given location latitude and longitude and it is stamping the name uh, as an option what we gave it so that's why now we see this name here you can browse through anything now we are you are actually in the maps default map app selected in ios uh, for here you can go back here and all all good so thank you so much for watching the video this was the xamarin essentials map api